Tuesday. Welcome to another vlog, a few days in my life as a grad student at IU. So if you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm a PhD student studying rec comp. I have a bunch of FAQs in my description box below this. Um, if you aren't subscribed already, you should go ahead and do that. But if you are not new here, welcome back. Like I said, this is going to be a few days in my life. Um, it's already a bit later in the day. It's already 4.15. Um, I just got done cleaning up some around my house. I wanted to use today just to be like a little slower day. Um, this weekend was Megan's birthday. So still getting things like picked up from that. It wasn't anything crazy, but there's still like confetti everywhere. Um, so right now I'm about to work on our proposal for the Four Cs conference. So if you're in Rec Comp, you've probably heard of this conference. It is one of the flagship conferences in the field specifically for like composition. And I am putting together a panel with me, Megan, and our other friends Peyton and Joanna. And it is about like feminist teaching practices um, and stuff like that. So we worked on having our um, individual parts all sort of submitted by yesterday so now we are each working on like revising refining some things making sure it's all underneath the character count I have to write a short abstract still because it was like my idea for the panel and I need to go ahead and actually like, submit it um, using like the form and stuff online it is I'm like choking due by midnight tonight so i would like to get it done before dinner time i don't know i think joanna's still finishing up her section so i'm gonna wait to see when she has that done and yeah someone asked me in one of my recent videos to walk through how i come up with an idea for a conference presentation so i will say this is like the hardest time i've had coming up with an idea for a conference presentation because i've been out of coursework um, typically I will present like one of my seminar papers or something that like spawned from like readings and coursework or something as a conference paper. Um, or sometimes I've had like assignments in classes to like write a conference proposal or write like an eight page paper that would be read at a conference. But now that I'm out of coursework, um, my conference proposal is really coming out of my like perspectives research. Like I'm talking about embodied writing, feminist writing, vlogging, stuff like, stuff like that. Um, so I always start off by reading like the call for proposals, call for papers, typically called a CFP in our field. Um, and the call for papers for this conference is called Doing Hope in Desperate Times. And then they typically have like a bulleted list of like what they are looking for um, papers or presentations to talk about. And I try to identify like two or three bullets that um, seem like I would be able to speak to those areas specifically. And then I think about the work that I do and do I have any work that is already speaking to that. Um, and of course, there's some like strategic positioning that you need to do to make sure it's fitting in with the theme of the conference. Um, and since CS is such a broad, enormous conference, um, I feel like there's room for sort of like everyone here. Watch me say that and then I end up not getting accepted. But that's sort of my process for coming up with something for C's. And I heard that you're more likely, more likely to get accepted if you present a panel. It also just makes the proposal writing process a lot like more enjoyable and less isolating. So um, I thought about the work that I was doing and thought about like how I wanted to position this. It's like, oh, this is doing hope. This is hope for like marginalized scholars, specifically drawing on like first person ways of knowing. And then I thought about Megan's research and she also draws on like first person ways of knowing. Um, she does like community writing and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, and two of my other friends here do that as well. Um, and I thought how we all come at this topic from like really interesting angles, me with vlogging, Megan with community writing, Joanna with like MFA poetry writing, and then Peyton with like creative nonfiction, life writing. Um, so I thought that would be really cool to have sort of like this interdisciplinary conference. Um, our panel but yeah so that's my thought process for that all right gonna submit the 4c's proposal how do you feel about it Megan? i feel great oh i feel mediocre so i kind of just said that i'm manifesting sarah okay we feel great 
Megan just whipped up this veggie based sauce. She used some rows, some other spaghetti sauce that I don't want to know how long it was in the fridge for, but I'm not going to ask. Um, <laughs> mushrooms, pepper, onion, carrots, what else? Some seasoning, you know, garlic, oregano, salt, pepper, yeah. basil. We have some breadsticks and we're gonna do a little salad action. Also, I don't know if I ever give an update on these croutons from Trader Joe's, but we tried them because of Abby Aslan and they are quite amazing. I was trying to think of a better word. <laughs> Too stunned to speak. <laughs> Okay, it's a little before 11 o'clock now. I feel like I didn't vlog a whole lot today, but truly I didn't do much. I got new hokas, went for a walk, still hurt the arches of my feet. So honestly, I think I'm gonna see a physical therapist or something because I think, based on my research, I think I underpronate, not overpronate. I think my feet turn sort of like outward when I walk and it causes like calluses near my pinky toe and it causes a lot of pain in the arch of my foot. Um, so I don't know how to resolve that but hopefully a doctor will tell me. And I also did my nails. I feel like they look like little espresso beans. It's sort of like a half and half situation there. I think they're cute, fun. Um, and I have been reading Time Traveler's Wife, but this just like isn't a before bed read. I don't know how to explain it. It's just not something you read before bed. So I am going to start Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I got this book at local bookstore here like corner bookstore bookstore on the corner or something like that it's like downtown um this weekend and yeah it's been on my like to be read list forever just good old Colleen Hoover and tomorrow I have to go to the writing center work from 12 to 5 so um I could have like another slowish morning again I don't know if I've said it in this vlog I'm taking a week off from working on perspective stuff because I feel really burnt out and I almost cried in my meeting with my advisor last Friday and it's time to take a week off so I can come back better than ever because rest is really important um, I might still do some reading or some free writing but I'm not going to like push myself to get him like a readable draft of something which I've been doing every week for the past like month or so I feel burnt out from writing, from thinking so critically, um, and it's time to just chill out a little bit. Here's the outfit of the day featuring a lawnmower in the background. Got this blue button down over the weekend from Target, just this white baby tee from H&M, tan colonizer pants as Megan calls them <laughs> from H&M as well and then I found these new balances at Goodwill for seven dollars. They're a little tight but they're cute and this necklace I also got over the weekend at American Eagle on clearance. A OTD moment. Okay, it is five o'clock now. I am out of work at the writing center for the day. I feel so tired and I need to start bringing more for lunch other than just like a PB&J and a granola bar because I normally work four hour shifts in the writing center but in summer I've been working five and I think because they're midday shifts I just get so hungry. Like I used to work 10 to two and it was fine but working 12 to five, I don't know. I'm so hungry. Anyway, this was like a pretty active shift. I didn't have anyone sign up for appointments, but for the first two hours I tabled for writing tutorial services and for like the academic support centers at like um, sort of like an event fair, like a association fair, club fair, whatever you wanna call it, because um, it's new student orientation this week. And I'm gonna do that again tomorrow. I wish I would have like thought that I was gonna be on my feet all day because as I mentioned, these shoes are like a little tight. So my feet hurt a little bit. Um, classic, that's a theme of my life. And um, I was gonna stop uh, at the grocery store on the way home, get some stuff for dinner, but Megan said she would go. So I'm gonna go home and eat some leftover pasta from last night because I'm just like so hungry. And our friend Peyton's gonna come over. We're gonna watch Time Traveler's Wife. 
also used the rest of my time productively, worked on creating some social media graphics for the Writing Center's Instagram page, and I worked on creating a presentation um, for some like Zoom chat that I'm going to um, hold with one of you all on Friday. So that'll be fun. Um, sort of about like working with multilingual writers, best practices for teaching, all that good stuff. So time to go home and eat. In bed for the night. I have been a horrible vlogger these past two days. I just haven't really done much. Um, like really that was worth vlogging. Our friend Peyton came over as usual on Wednesday nights and we watched Time Traveler's Wife. She brought some really, really, really yummy like coconut, lemon, chocolate drizzled, macaroons, macarons. Not sure technically what these were, but they were so good. And we just ate like a little veggie Mediterranean bowl with some quinoa. Um, and I am like reading Time Traveler's Wife as I'm watching the show. What's going on with the focus? On HBO. And it's very, very strange to like be doing it both at the same time. So like this episode, I'm like, I don't remember that from the book. Maybe I haven't gotten there yet. And then I'm like, or does it just not happen in the book? Anyway, um, I work tomorrow at the Writing Center again from 12 to 5. Gonna bring a real lunch this time. And um, I am hoping to get some more prospectus free writing done. Um, I double checked with my chair today and we are just gonna save our weekly meeting for next week and hopefully I will have a fuller draft of the prospectus to share with him then. I thought that I would feel nice taking a week off from the prospectus um, to like rest, but I feel like I haven't been like intentionally resting. So it's felt a little more like procrastination. So tomorrow if I can do like some free writing and things for like intentional rest um, or ways that aren't like quite writing the prospectus, but are like thinking about it, reading about it, um, that'll make me feel a little bit better because I'm feeling a little guilty right about now. Good morning, happy Thursday. Here's the outfit. This is just a tank top, but I'm putting a cardigan on because I don't like wearing tank tops to work. Um, these wide leg jeans from Zara, these platform sandals from Target, just cute little summery outfit. I am tabling again for the writing center, so I wanted to make sure my like hair and makeup were done at least like a little bit. Um, yesterday I didn't wear jeans, but a lot of people were wearing jeans, so I feel like I'm fine. Um, and these shoes I think will be comfy for standing for like two hours because my feet were hurting a little bit in standing in those New Balance sneakers. So I have about an hour to 45 minutes before I have to leave for work. So I think I'm going to read a little bit um, of like a not necessarily school related book, but could potentially get me thinking about like embodiment and stuff like that, um, which I feel like will be a good headspace to go into trying to use today productively to continue thinking about my research, my perspectives and stuff like that. Okay, I have about 30 minutes before I have to leave for work and honestly... I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a caramel macchiato because I really want one. Did I have coffee already this morning? Yeah. Is this like being a little risky? Could potentially hurt my stomach? Oh, absolutely. But I really just really want to try it. Okay, that was a stressful last like 30 minutes. Tried to go to Starbucks. It was closed. They said that the power was out. Really weird. Um, so then I was like, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I really want coffee, but I felt like I was in a time crunch. And then like my autopilot just took me to Soma. Um, and then I w walked into Soma fully intending to order a smoothie and then a caramel latte just like spilled out of my mouth. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll get a, I'll get a caramel latte. And then as I was walking back to my car from Soma, I have to like cross the street to go to my car where I parked. Uh, my friend Joanna called me and she was like, oh my god, I see you. I was like, who's that girl dressed so cute? And then I was like, oh my god, it's Sarah. So, yeah. But here we are. Made it to work with like 15 minutes to spare. Love to see it. Time for dinner. Megan made some broccoli and I made her show me what seasonings are on it so I can do it for myself when the time comes that we, you know, have to get a divorce. Huh? Um, <laughs> AKA she gets a job and finishes the program before me. 
We're making corn on the cob, some veggie burgers, and I got some like shoe insert things to try and help because I really want to wear these hokas. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Wish her luck, everyone. Wish me luck. Megan is chopping some lettuce, some tomato, some onion. The queen. I'm also drinking a Topo Chico leftover from Megan's birthday. This is a strawberry guava flavor. Um, we like pineapple the best. We had mango yesterday. I thought mango was good. I liked pineapple, mango, then strawberry guava. Okay, we've been doing before bed chats every night this week. So here's another one. <sighs> In the writing center today, I took about 30 to 45 minutes to just do like a little free write to get my brain flowing back into perspective stuff because I took um, some time away from it, like no more than a week, but yeah, just, you know, the work of the work is the way that one of my friends phrased it. And it's so true, like working myself up to working is like really hard, the work of doing the work. Anyway, I felt good about what I wrote. I said in concise terms, here's what I think my prospectus is writing. And I feel like what my prospectus is writing, what my prospectus is saying. And I feel like I know more than I've ever known at this point. Like I'm closer to being able to articulate what it is that I want to say than I've ever been before. Um, so I'm really hoping that I could sit down um, tomorrow, this weekend, and really make some solid progress on it. But I'm a little worried because I felt this way before. And then when I showed my professor my draft, he was just like, yeah, we got we got some work to do. So I'm just like, I hope that I can show him this next draft. And he's like, yeah, this is solid. Anyway, tomorrow we'll get back on the grind, get back into working on some things. Friday. I had a nice relaxing morning, um, really setting myself up to get some work done now. I did some yoga stretching, made a cup of coffee, and then Megan brought me a caramel macchiato for Starbucks Friday. We go to Starbucks every Friday, or she goes and brings me back something. Started a load of laundry, um, did some quick skincare, all of that good stuff, and I'm actually sitting on my floor right now. Um, I have a pillow behind me. And then I have this sort of lap desk throwback. Use this a lot during COVID. Um, and I think I'm going to do my work from here today. I'm a big believer in changing up places where you do work. Um, especially when you're trying to like, I don't know, do something new. Um, so I'm trying to like actually write a finished version of my prospectus. Um, so yeah, I thought I would change up my place. And if you've been following along with my vlogs, you know that I use Notion a lot. I use Notion a lot when I was prepping for my comprehensive exams. I have videos all about that on my channel. Um, and every once in a while, I'll just like start a new Notion tab, like on a whim. And I started one yesterday when I did my free writing and I put like the little icon with like the checkered flag and I titled it Prospectus Finish Line um, because I'm manifesting that the finish line is in sight because I need to be done with this. So I feel good use some calming grounding essential oils and let's get started 
Okay, I wrote for about an hour and that wasn't as wonderful as I thought. I feel like I'm feeling really overwhelmed because I have like a bunch of different documents that I'm all trying to compile um, and I'm trying to like adhere to my advisor's comments on each different document and I'm starting to feel like maybe I just need to like ignore those and like not start over but like just write from what's up here but he also just like gave me so much like sentence level word by word like line by line corrections that I like want to like incorporate that in but uh I don't know I don't know what to do okay it is later now almost four o'clock I actually am gonna meet with my advisor not to talk about the prospectus <laughs> we typically meet on Fridays but we are not meeting today about the prospectus we are meeting to talk about me being like a reviewer for this um like online journal that he runs where I think it's like undergrads that submit things um and it'll just give me more experience interacting with like um like non-print essays like people submit like videos and stuff like that so that'll be good for me um and we're gonna be just quickly to talk about like guidelines and stuff for that and then I just quickly like threw on a real shirt, um, real-ish, I guess I've taught in this before, um, for this presentation at five and it took quite a long break. After writing went meh, I didn't come back to it today, but I told myself my goal was just to like look at it again for the first time in a while. Um, and I might go to a coffee shop or something tomorrow and get more work done. Okay guys, can you please start watching my videos like five times so I can please get that AdSense money because I can't stop um, going to Target. So here's a little Target haul from me and Megan. It's best when I lay everything out and then show you, but this vlog hasn't been the best, so whatever. Uh, we got this double chocolate chunk granola. I love this good and gather packaging and I just, I don't stop talking about it. We got two of these glasses. They were like four, $4. They're plasticky, but I think that they're so cute. Megan saw this mug and gasped because she said, oh, it's for race day for F1. And it says vibing and thriving on the Isn't inside. It it's really cute. What was it, like five bucks? Five bucks. Um, she got some shampoo and some dry shampoo. She got a teacher shirt. It's just like this navy blue sort of um, short sleeve button down. It's cute. I got some Cheetos. I don't know why, but I just, I wanted to. Yeah. More conditioner, another one of those cups. And I got these protein waffles that I actually think I'm gonna make now. I used to have an issue with syrup where it would really hurt my stomach. And Megan recommended trying sugar-free syrup. And I'm like three for three on the sugar-free syrup. And I got this smoothie mix because I had like a strawberry peach smoothie at Soma and I really, really liked it. And this big bag was like nine or 10 bucks and like one smoothie at Soma is like five bucks. Got some slippers. I just think this pattern's really cute. And I got some white slash beige pants. The white pants I have now are pretty small and tight on me. And these are the same um, style that I have in black and I wear them a lot to teach. Um, more antacids. Is that it? Somehow I spent like 70 bucks and Megan spent like 60. Wow. Uh, I don't know how, but that's Target for you. 